All right, hey VC, I'm Jamie. Welcome back. We are back with another video, and this time it's some finds from Record Store Drop. Uh, this is the first of three, I think, that are planned uh, for this late summer and into fall. Uh, didn't find too, too much on this particular one, so instead of Record Store Day, they've kind of spread it out over three uh, different days. This is the first this month. There's another one coming up end of September, I believe, and then the end of October. Uh, so I was looking for a few things. I managed to pick up a, a few items, but I didn't find too, too much. A few things that didn't seem to come in but I'll show you what I did pick up I was able to find a teenage head I picked this up at my local I didn't go out of town uh, to some of the bigger stores I stayed in town so I shopped at both the Diamond Dogs and Sound Fixation uh, in town at uh, Diamond Dogs I was able to find a teenage heads uh, drive-in uh, single so this was a uh, Primarily uh, previously unreleased stuff, but this uh, had been featured on their last uh, album, uh, Torpedo, that had featured a whole bunch of demos. A great uh, Canadian punk band, um, punk rock band. And uh, yeah, so I was pretty happy to pick this up. So this features uh, the uh, demo Drive In, and then it features a Daniel Lenoir remix of Blood Boogie, and then Don't Cage Me In uh, Radio Edit. And uh, yeah, I've got a real soft spot for Teenage Head and. Uh, it's been nice that they've been uh, reissuing a lot of uh, Teenage Head stuff uh, over the years for both uh, Record Store Day and, uh, yeah, so that's that's kind of fun. Okay, so let's see if I can pop this open and take a look inside. Okay, and it uh, looks pretty straightforward. And sleeve within the sleeve. And on red vinyl. That's kind of fun. There we go. Oops. And there we go. So that's kind of fun for Teenage Head. Yeah, I was pretty happy to pick that up. Okay, I did pick up the uh, Changes Now uh, boy. This is a Record Store Day uh, release. Uh, this is kind of uh, a number of tracks that were recorded November uh, 96 in uh, New York City. So I was pretty happy to pick that up. And let's uh, take a look inside. I seem to have picked the dullest knife for opening these records. Here we go. Okay. All right. And there's been a couple of uh, David Bowie releases for this one. And here we go. And yeah, I don't know a lot about the background of this other than I think this was recorded live in concert or at least a live in studio. I have to dive into this and we'll see what the vinyl looks like pretty straightforward black vinyl changes now Bowie <laughs> okay and I did pick up the other uh, David Bowie uh, live album uh, this is David Bowie I'm only dancing the soul tour 74 uh, pleased to come across this uh, double album and there you have the track listings there and so, yeah, pretty excited about this one. And this does appear to be gatefold, uh, which is quite nice. Let's see if we can pop into this one. And let's see the shirt kind of, oops. Okay. Because I do want to save that record store little hype sticker there. I'll take it off. Sorry for the delay there. There we go. Yeah, it's an interesting kind of a matted uh, cover. And a great period in David Bowie, so we got some great tracks on here for sure. Okay, disc one, we'll take a look at this. Uh, nice uh, line sleeves. That is disc one. And carrying on for disc three. Okay. And I did pick up one more record. It just looked uh, too interesting. Uh, this was not a record store uh, drop or record store day. This might have been one uh, in the past, but I did pick this up. I uh, don't know a lot about this artist, but uh, David Axelrod, Songs of Innocence, uh, his debut and a 60s masterpiece celebrated as Psychedelic, The Birth of Jazz Fusion, The Harbinger of Hip Hop. Songs of Innocence is a hybrid that no one, not even Axelrod himself, could describe. Grounded by Wrecking Crew vets uh, Earl Palmer and... Uh, 
uh, which utilizes brass. It says Axelrod's sweeping arrangement, so he utilizes brass and strings in a way that no one of his era did. It's both violent and sublime. And uh, this is uh, audio file reissue, lacquered directly from Axelrod's original EQ'd master tapes at Capitol Records by Ron McCas McMaster. Uh, contains 28 page booklet that delves into Axelrod's incredible life and music. Yeah, it just looked, uh, looked too good to pass up, but this was not a, a record store drop. Uh, release and I did pick up a few uh, used records at uh, Diamond Dogs that I'll take a look at on a later uh, video oh, okay oh, all right very good so it pops up like this love the cover okay let's take a look at the vinyl It's interesting with some of these reissues. So this is a Universal Music Special Markets uh, reissue. How often quite plain the labels are for some of these uh, reissues. Okay, but it looks really interesting. And wow, that's a nice uh, thick booklet. <coughs> the Capital Trilogy. Okay. Wow, really nice uh, glossy, nice quality paper. Very nice booklet. Yeah, so I say I don't really know a lot about uh, this artist, but it uh, looked uh, too intriguing to pass up. Don't know if anyone in the VC, and there's a great bass player, uh, Carol Kay. Wow. Yeah, great Carol Kay. Nice. Didn't know she was involved in this. Of course, Carol Kay from the Wrecking Crew. Yeah, really nice booklet. My goodness. Oh, okay, so there you have that, uh, David Axelrod. Again, not to officially uh, release uh, from this one, but uh, looked uh, just too, too interesting. So I thought I'd uh, open that up. So yeah, so that's going to do it for my uh, very uh, uh, short uh, record store drop. And as I mentioned, uh, there's supposed to be a few more coming up. And it's interesting, some stores were able to open okay, uh, but I did hear word of some stores, I think like in Montreal, that decided not to open because of concerns of uh, crowding and uh, COVID-19. So the uh, they didn't open, so you can only pick them up online, that sort of thing. So every record store is going to be uh, dealing with things uh, differently. So it wasn't uh, too, too crowded uh, locally uh, from where I live. But uh, it was nice to be pick up a few things. Really looking forward to this uh, David Bowie stuff. So again, uh, do take care and do uh, stay safe, and we'll chat again really soon. Take care. Bye-bye.